To install Beam app, first go to Google Play Store on your Android mobile. Type BHIM and then wait for a second. Then select Beam app from NPCI. You'll see this screen. Click on the install button. If your Android is version 6 or newer, you'll see this message. Click on continue button. This will download the app in your mobile. To open the app in your device, click on the open button. Select your preferred language. Click on the next button. You will see the welcome screen of the app. Click on the next button once again. You will see the information on your mobile screen. Click on the next button. Now the app will ask for access. Click on let's get started. The app will now ask if it can manage your phone calls. Choose allow. If your Android is version 6.0 or newer, then you have to change your permission settings by turning off screen overlay from all the other apps. You have to click on open settings. It will take you to this screen. Here you will see all your apps. You have to turn off the draw over other apps like this. You have to do it manually to all the apps that you have in your mobile. Now you'll see the app permission screen. Here you have to give the permission to Veeam app to use the required apps from your mobile. Now you'll see this screen. Click back. The app will now ask you to select a SIM to verify your mobile number. Choose the SIM that is linked to your bank account. This will take you 2 or 3 seconds and then your mobile number will be verified. The app will now ask for a passcode. Enter any 4 digit number. Then click on the tick mark. Confirm it by re-entering the same number. Choose your bank name. Select the account and you are on. Now you can send money with the help of mobile number and payment address. You can request for money with the help of mobile number and payment address. You can scan and pay your bills. See how easy it is? So let's go digital and contribute our share in making India digital and corruption free. Please like and share this video as much as you can. Jai Hind, Jai Mahabharati.